The following news broadcast was created by and for students of PS1 in the Bronx. Hello, this is Olga Rojas reporting for Channel 1 News in the Bronx. Our top story today is Math Attack. The latest from the front lines of the math blackout at PS1. Now to our reporter Lisbeth at the Cougars practice. I'm here at PS1. Suddenly, no one can do math. Basketball players can't keep count of their score, and dancers can't keep count of their steps. It's very scary. Lisbeth Marte reporting with the Cougars. What happened during the math blackout? Well, mm, that was terrible. We couldn't keep score of our shots, and we didn't know what to do. Well, it was so terrible, we couldn't keep track of the score, and we forgot all about math. That's terrible. Back to you. In other math news, we sent reporters out into the school to find out how people really feel about math. What, what, math? Are you serious? Math saved my life, all right? If it wasn't because of math, I wouldn't be here right now. That, that's, just all I, that's all I have to say. I, no, no more, no more questions, no more questions. I love math and math is in my blood. My family loves math, it's like my favorite subject. What I like about math is um, the timetable's like really hard, but you have to keep on trying and trying so you can get better at it. If we didn't have math on the world, people could get ripped off. We won't, know, we won't be able to count. We all know how much money we have. This just in. A new study finds that the popular drink, math juice, has been found to have no effect on math intelligence. Huh, who knew? This is Olga Rojas signing off for Channel One.